What we have here is the recently announced Galaxy SmartTag 2 from Samsung. Today we will have a more of an ASMR approach as my voice is still recovering. This is the second generation of Samsung's attempt at a Bluetooth smart tag. The first generation came out all the way back in 2021, with a refreshed Plus version shortly after. This year in the box you also get an ejector tool, which is meant for the battery. Pulling out the battery lid to activate the tag. Design was not changed much until now. This one is completely redesigned and looks more refined. Now, for the side-by-side -side with the first generation smart tag. All the basic functions and features introduced in the previous model are still there. The button, the speaker, which also seems to be upgraded with a bigger opening to produce a much louder sound. It now has an iconic pill design with a giant metal ring taking over half of its sides. I guess the emphasis is now on the keyring part of the deal. It even still uses the same CR2032 battery, which can be accessed by using the ejector tool. As Samsung claims, it is now 50% more power efficient compared to the previous model and should last you up to 500 days with standard usage. And with the new power saving mode, it could last you up to 700 days, theoretically. I wonder if Samsung really started testing this already with the first generation being released, as that should be almost two years of battery life, on paper. Now let's take a look at all the new things this tag comes with. It has an upgraded Bluetooth version 5.3, with better efficiency and connection distance up to 120 meters. Ultra wideband support now comes as a standard on the base model, unlike previous generation that had this only added in the Plus version. With this you can use the Camera Find, an augmented reality feature that will show you the approximate distance and direction of your smart tag when nearby. This only works with supported phones like the Galaxy Ultra lineup and some Plus models. As previously mentioned, it now has a dedicated power saving mode. What this does, it puts your tag into a low energy long term tracking mode with the cost of losing features like setting volume and ringtone, using the action button, ringing the tag, and any ultra-wideband features like camera AR find and distance information. It also has a hidden NFC tag baked into it for the new feature called Lost Mode. When somebody finds the tag and scans it with a phone, a web page gets displayed with your email and phone number for contact. You can turn this feature on without being connected to the tag, Pairing lock is enabled, and when it is found by a nearby Galaxy device, you will get a notification. And finally, long awaited, it comes with an IP67 rating, so it can now be useful in more extreme conditions. There is a waterproofing seal around the battery slot. The speaker also seems to work underwater just fine. You can hear it in a glass of water, but don't expect it to be audible in a lake or pool. Anyhow, this is a nice to have, especially in winter when your keys can fall out in the snow. The Galaxy Smart Tag 2 will be available globally starting from October 11 and will cost $30 or around 40 euros depending on where you live. Overall, this seems like a nice refresh from Samsung over the previous model, making it more useful with better endurance. Only time will tell how good the battery life really is, and sadly, with this tag, you are still in Samsung's walled garden, which I hope will change in the future. Things could get more unified when Google will release their long-awaited smart tag. Still, this is a decent Apple AirTag competitor and I am looking forward for its usability.